Oh. Yeah, I left information, but she just... Just so you have an hour available when you... Yeah, whenever she has time. <laughs> but she might show up one of these Sundays. Yeah. No, she wanted to come. She thought yeah. it was great that, you know, everybody was doing that. I think she only is... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Lucid at certain periods of time. During the day? Well, mm -hmm. at certain periods of time. Uh, okay. Sometimes it's been a while since I've seen her since she's been in Claiborne. Yeah. It was after her husband died that she moved away. I mean, she always had a house, in, I guess, in uh, Towson. Yeah. And, uh, she was always a part-time resident during the summer. She came out for a couple weeks. I mean, She's yeah. never here all year long. Um, yeah. Okay, across from the, where the Churchills lived, we moved to Herman, who was a watchmaker. Wait a minute, that was the huh? corner house that. You're right, where the Churchills. Mm -hmm. Across from the Churchills. Yeah, across from the Churchills. Uh, he was the watchmaker. He was the watchmaker. Not Mr. Churchill, Mr. Herman. Yeah. Who later moved to be our next door neighbor. Back where uh, Tim Abbey lived. At some point he sold that. I to think after his wife died or something. Uh -huh. well, I'll get to him later, but that, that house is the original ticket agent of the Right. The one that burned down? No. Oh. No. No. Tim, where Tim and Abbey lived. Oh, right. Abby right. Uh -huh. uh, they later built a bigger one. Right. She drove up to the ferry at the ticket agent on the left hand side, and they'd go to the big one on the other side with the restroom. And where the uh, Absher's lived was a hotel one time in Burn, and then he became a, a private resident. And a gentleman named Nixdor Floyd, who was a German soldier in part of the German army in World War I, and he was a plumber. And during the Second World War, he almost starved. Nobody would harm him. He almost starved because nobody would harm huh? him. No one would hire him. No, because he was German. German. Hmm. Uh, as such. Uh, that explains the rascaler in the basement. <laughs> they always said they had that. A what? A rascaler. I guess a bar. Oh, in yeah. A tavern. And it was in their basement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I never heard of that. Mm -hmm. But when it was a hotel, people would come here and spend the night and catch the first ferry going to Annapolis. Such. It was but a bigger house that was. Oh, there. yeah, all about bigger house. It had a oh, third yeah. floor that burned off, burned out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <coughs> Belvedere Hotel, does that sound right? That's what I think Thelma told me. Was it? Belvedere. Yeah, she probably knew. What about the Churchill's property? How long has it been there? <coughs> Ever since I can remember. Yeah. It's about, goes back to about 1915, the builder yeah. working on it. Yeah, I mean, it's always been there. Yeah. I heard it's been moved twice. Maybe back. Go. That's yeah. what we had heard. Yeah. Yeah. If you go out there, sure you can, uh, if you go waiting out there, you, you'll hit previous uh, yeah. bulkheads. Yeah. You know, where the bulkhead rocks were. Mm -hmm. The trip over. Yeah. yeah, we've kayaked over there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're on my St. Churchill's. Um, Mr. Herman, the watchmaker, was in our house then? No, Bra the no, house? Churchill house. Oh. What the Churchill house is. Oh, he was back in that, in her yeah. house? Okay. Yeah, back in that house. Okay, our, I thought it was our house that no, had no, a watchmaker. No, no, no. <laughs> our house wasn't there. Uh, our house wasn't there, is that correct? Yeah, right. Oh, no, there, it was a little house from 1925. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, and I thought it was a clockmaker or a watchmaker or something. Yeah, I think that's really part of this. No, Mr. Herman lived in Churchill House before he. Okay. I think I'm right. After his wife died, at two big firms, somebody moved up here with him. With him. Okay. Mm -hmm. up on the inside. Uh, so you were at Absher's house, right? You, just, mm -hmm. you were at Absher's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That's right. Okay. Oh, Back on the other side where, where you live. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought. Right. Is, wasn't anybody there. I don't think. Was there a house there? Some yes, kind of because big, it's had. It was kind of building, but I can't remember. Oh. It has three style windows in it and, and sections of the house. You can tell where it was added on. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 1978 was um, Carl Grebel 
added on. Carol, um, Carol yeah, no, one time. Oh, and what was I and thought? Carol owned this house next door at one time, which wasn't there when I was a kid. But, he still owns it. Huh? He still owns it. Yeah, he still owns it. Yeah, that's right. Then where Becky and, and where Becky and Paul live, the old man, Mr. Northern owned that house. And that's the first house my parents lived in. Because when Dad, Mom and Dad got married before, in fact, they got married in 1917, and he left in 1917 to go overseas. Mm -hmm. right. So when they came back, that's the first house they lived in. The second house they lived in was Mr. Jarman's house before they built the house, which I now live in. Right. And I, uh, just to give you a short, I don't know how in the world my mother and father, Dad got, as, after he made captain, he made captain pretty quickly. He was captain. He, he said he was a young captain on Chesapeake Bay. I know that's that may be an apocryphal story. But he was he came out of the army, he was 27, he had his captain's license for he was 30. Um, and my uncle, who was next door, used to tell the story that people would go out, go up and see how young he was, and maybe afraid to cross the prairie. <laughs> 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 So that's that tour of Becky, and, that's the, and I don't know which was which, I can't remember whether the Jarman house first or second house, but then they, they built the house, my house where we live now is built in 1925. And it was purchased from Mrs. Smith, who owned the house next door to it. She owned that, that whole lot of stuff. And one of the reasons that we have a shared driveway is because we couldn't get in, couldn't get in the back because the railroad was there. There's no way to get in the back lot because the railroad ran in the back part of the lot. And so our dean says we have a right of way to just we have a shared driveway there. So uh, coming back around after we leave uh, Rebecca and Paul live to the house on the left. I mean who owns that house now? Back there in the woods. Leverances. Leverances. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, they're both a family by the name of Harrison lived, and he was a waterman. He didn't work on the ferry. <laughs> They're a grandson down in this house up here, which I'll get to. So, so then, then coming back up, where the post office is, was a general one. We got three stores in Clayton Isaac here. That was one of them, which was, was a grocery store. So the house. Across the street from this government, across the street was the Mr. and Mrs. Jones who owned that store, which is Larry and Ted's grandparents owned that. That's where they live there. In the Hathaway's house or the one? Or the Hathaway house. Right, okay. And that's where they live and as such. Um, at some point, they sold it and lived where Ted now lives. I don't know mm -hmm. when that happened. She died there, right? The Ted's mother died there. So. I think so. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, and that's right. Or she right, yeah. Right. right. Because they oh, wait a minute now. Ted's mother and father owned that house. The original owner was a fam uh, man by the name of Sherman, who was the general land of the ferry company. It was his his house. And when the ferry stopped, he sold it and built down in McDaniel built a house there. Uh, the next house, next to the Hathaways, was a family named of Perry. Perry? Yeah. Right, okay. And he was a, a, also a captain, but not a captain of this story. He was captain of Little Point Ferry. And when I never knew him, he died. But to, to know, all I knew was his wife, Mrs. Alice Perry. Yeah, that's your house, Peter. Right, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's your house. The next house was, you know, it's a store with people named Gerby on the grocery store. Uh, and such. The next house, people named a Bergman on it, which was another store, but not quite a grocery store. It was uh, bakery. Huh? a bakery, but also an ice cream 